I've always been a sporty person. Um, yeah, from young, did all the sports, swimming, uh, gymnastics, did that for years, um, ballet, tap, jazz. Oh, I just loved it all. Um, so yeah, being, on, being in front of anyone and performing in front of anyone, that was my thing. <laughs> I first got involved in netball in a PE lesson, year seven, 11 years old. But I guess I was kind of partly or subconsciously introduced because my mum used to play. So I used to watch her when I was younger um, and my sister we used to follow her to games but we never actually picked it up until going to school so yeah the real influence was probably my teacher for pushing it but definitely used to watch my mum when I was younger. Ah oh, do you know what I love just in netball just the fact that you can run jump uh, catch a ball turn like you can shoot you can defend there's just so many different positions um, so I just thought the whole aspect of it was always different. So if you played a different position, you was obviously looking at the game very differently. Um, and yeah, that just kind of made it exciting. And you're not always just doing the same thing. And the fact that you had a team around you wasn't always about you. So um, yeah, that's probably it. Guilty pleasure. I've got some rubbish ones. I, I, I just love popcorn. Like I know that sounds so random, but I, I don't know what it is, but I just need popcorn in my life. <laughs> so salted popcorn, that's me. I know I started off as a sweet person and then I went to sweet and salt and now I'm just straight salt. <laughs> so that's one of them and I like Skittles too. Um, did you know what? There's no specific song that gets us pumped, but um, we do have like in the changing rooms, like two or three songs that we like to add to the playlist. Um, so generally I'm looking at a hip hop kind of upbeat track that I could go hard to. Um, I love a bit of grime and um, yeah, some kind of like London pop culture, like that kind of thing. So I'm um, yeah, that's kind of where I sit <laughs> in the list. Brace. So I brace my ankles like a precautionary measure um, and that's something I'll do for training. But for matches, I have to tape and brace. It would feel so weird if I didn't do that and I think it would make me feel like I wasn't playing a real match. So I guess in a way that would be one of them <laughs> or the only one. Um, so yeah, taping and bracing before match. Someone that is very patient, able to like see the whole court and see two steps ahead um, and just kind of a, a bit of flair, being able to change direction, get free from two defenders. Um, happy to hit the circle edge, come off the circle edge, go back onto the circle edge, that work rate, high work rate and being really creative um, and then even so defensively if you can force things and make things happen, take ball, get interceptions then you're looking like a really good mid-court player.